David Rantis here from Wake Up It's Football and with SB Nation recapping your Week 17 matchup between the Minnesota Vikings and the Green Bay Packers. If you just watched three hours of that entire game, it probably feels like you just got done watching a boxing match. All 15 rounds going the distance coming down to a decision because that's how it felt. Um, the Minnesota Vikings won 37-34 on a game-winning field goal from Blair Walsh. And let me tell you what, the defenses in both these game, or in, on both these teams did not really show up. Um, let's just take a quick look here at the quarterback play. You had Aaron Rodgers, who was 28 for 40, 365 yards, four touchdowns, no interceptions. Christian Ponder, on the other hand, 16 for 28, 234, three touchdowns, and no interceptions. So you can, <laughs> you can see the uh, defenses on this game were shredded. And they didn't force any turnovers besides Aaron Rodgers fumbled the ball once. Um, I mean, tough, tough loss for the Packers because they could have secured a first round bye. But now that goes to the San Francisco 49ers. Let's take a look at a few of their highlights of the game at least. Um, in the second half, the Packers are coming out into the third quarter. They were down 20 to 10. Uh, Greg Jennings really, you know, as you can, if you want to say you can put the team on his back, but uh, 45-yard reception from Jennings. He made Chad Greenway miss. He reversed his direction, went up the sideline on, on a 45-yard reception, and to cap that drive off, Aaron Rodgers tossed him a 5-yard touchdown. Uh, again, in the third quarter, you had Jordy Nelson, who came up huge on this play. Uh, he really burned the corner uh, that was covering him. It was an over-the-shoulder catch. And 73 yards later, they were down around the four-yard line of the Minnesota Vikings, and they kept that drive off on a James Jones eight-yard touchdown catch. Uh, in the fourth quarter, to really um, you know keep the game close because it was back and forth all game long, back and forth, back and forth, field goal, touchdown. Um, the Packers were down by a touchdown, and then about I believe it was two minutes, 45 seconds left. You have Jordy Nelson catch a back shoulder catch for two yards to tie the game up at 34-34. But the Minnesota Vikings rallied back, uh, really used the time that they had wisely, uh, burned it down to you know a couple seconds, and Blair Walsh kicked that game winner, 37-34 uh, in Minnesota. A few game notes, Randall Cobb did not suit up for this one because he has an ankle injury, so they, you know, Packers kept him down on the sideline there. Uh, Adrian Peterson did not break Eric Dickerson's rushing record. He needed uh, nine yards to, to break that record. He did not get it. He did run for 199 yards on the Green Bay Packers defense. So next week, going into this one, it's going to be the wild card round between these two teams at Lambeau. Peterson ran for 210 in his first game and 199 in his second game. So, I mean, the Packers need to figure something out here if they want to stop Peterson. He's definitely going to be the X factor in this one. Um, so, like I mentioned, it's going to be an exciting round three in this one uh, going into uh, Lambeau next week. But, uh, again, you got, you, you got the Vikings um, playing some great offense, Packers playing poor defense. I think that was the ultimate recipe for disaster in this one. Uh, but David Grant is here from Wake Up It's Football and with SB Nation.